When describing ultra wideband, there's actually two definitions that we could go and have a look at. The first is where more historically ultra wideband was linked into very low range wideband signals, similar to where you might find Bluetooth. However, more recently, you found it linked to 5G. And certain service providers, when deploying their 5G network, have said, we have got a ultra wideband signal. What does that actually mean? Well, we need to put it into a little bit of context. Well, when you start talking about frequencies and frequency bands in 5G, you start talking about the thing called frequency ranges. And we have frequency range one and frequency range two. Frequency range one runs between around about 400 megahertz up to over seven gigahertz. And this is where you'll typically find existing 2G, 3G and 4G deployments, as well as some 5G deployments. Sometimes we refer to this frequency range as low band and mid band. So it's low and mid. We also have frequency range two. Now frequency range two runs between 24 gigahertz and approximately 52 gigahertz. And typically this is referred to as high band. So when we start deploying 5G, you typically refer to it as low band, mid band and high band. And frequency range two is the high band. So where does the word ultra wide band come from? Well, thinking about these two frequency ranges, if you look at frequency range one, the various bands you would deploy in, what you might find is you will get smaller channels typically. So if you go back to the 4G network, you'll be talking about 20 megahertz channels. And more recently, you might find some 30, 40, 50 megahertz channels with respect to 5G but they are relatively small. And what you can do is you could aggregate some of those together called carrier aggregation to get a higher data rate. The different colors there, potentially different service providers have different amounts of spectrum. When you look at frequency range two, by looking just at the amount of spectrum available, some of these bands are very big. Yeah, in, in, and in some cases, the amount of spectrum is potentially 10 times, 20 times more than the low and mid band spectrum that a service provider had access to. So when it comes to allocating resources, a service provider might be having multiple wide band signals, so potentially 100, 200, 300, 400 megahertz channels, and then aggregating more of those together. And this is where the term ultra wide band comes in. It's more of an implementation of lots of wide band signals being effectively aggregated together to give you those ultra-high data rate.